We stand at a really interesting point uh, in the clean energy transition. For the first time we've crossed the divide where renewable energies are being installed at a greater rate uh, than fossil fuels and that's really representative of their costs coming down, uh, their efficiency improving and really important actions being taken by governments globally uh, to ensure that they adequately address uh, climate change and global warming. We've all come to understand that, uh, that climate change is a significant reality um, for our world. Last year we crossed a very critical threshold of 400 parts per million of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and it's highly likely that in our lifetimes we'll never go below that threshold. And that really has locked in temperature change globally. And so the challenge for, for all countries, um, developed and developing, is to find a way to rapidly decarbonise the energy generation sector. In addressing the energy transition, it's really important to understand the role of um, policy and market forces. The government subsidy begins the deployment of a lot of these technologies, but we can get to commercial viability extraordinarily quickly. So we might just jump to a solar plant in China now. Whereas the initial deployments of solar globally were you know, small numbers of panels installed in a residential setting, particularly in Germany and Australia, this is the kind of scale that can be achieved with solar generation today, and this is actually increasing starting to happen the world over. Right next door, there's an extraordinarily large um, hydro dam. And so the dam and the solar farm actually work together. We have solar and essentially hydro storage, and together they're able to operate as a single entity to deliver reliable power um, to the grid. This will allow us to overcome the intermittency of generation for both wind and solar and ensure that we can effectively move to high penetration renewables uh, and eventually a 100% renewable electricity grid. So in the US we have data for oil and gas drilling over the last century, so we can actually start to see the changing mix of US energy generation this tells a story about what's actually happening uh, globally. But the interesting thing to compare that to is this very diffusive deployment that we see of solar. And it's not installed in one location because it's installed on people's homes. Individual consumers are actually driving the adoption um, of the energy generation they want. The obvious thing that's going to happen, and we're already starting to see this, is the adoption of lithium residential batteries. As consumers buy solar panels and energy storage, they're increasingly becoming first-class participants in the operation of the electricity system. The energy transition is going to require different technologies in different locations. We're not going to have a one-size-fits-all approach to changing our energy mix globally. Each country, each locale is going to have an opportunity to implement the most efficient energy generation mix for them.